I'm teaching courses where we use uh, robots as a um, practical example to show what some very theoretical things in mathematics and computer science might mean. So we don't simply do things on paper or write programs, but with the computer and the robot I can show what, for example, is the meaning of an equation that has several solutions. I really like Settlers from Catan since I'm a little boy. I started the project with um, developing the client platform and um, thought about um, yeah, having a robot here. Um, that's why I try to build an interface for nearly, let's say, every robot. Yeah, I try to be as flexible as possible and that's why I use interfaces for it that you can put um, other stuff like robot arms easily together with my client. The playground is not one of squares, but it has hexagonal structure, which is a challenge by itself. Also, the playground is fairly big compared to our robot, so we were not quite sure at the beginning whether the robot could reach all the points, but uh, actually it turned out that setting a high goal also has a benefit on uh, the result. I think the students sometimes are afraid of the mathematics involved, but um, many problems can be separated in a way such that one group works on the mathematics things, the other works on some programming task and others work maybe on some engineering task. So I think the students get the point that this is a deal of great teamwork and that this is a job where they might have a great future ahead. You don't simply write your program, you see an effect on the world. You see pieces moving and you see the robot doing some interesting things. So I think students like robotics and they um, like it because they can put their ideas in very practical things. I know a lot of the principles behind the KUKA system. KUKA, I think, has been always on the front of that, using standard PC technology, using now Java as a programming language, which makes life easier for people doing a general uh, computer science program. Cool car.